एबे अनुरोध रहबो सी देवी दत्त कानून गो सी वो रेड क्लिफ ग्रुप ऑफ स्कूल व्हेन वी रियली वांट टू डू एंड दिस इज व्हाट वी हैव बीन डूइंग इन आवर ग्रुप ऑफ स्कूल्स वी हैव डेवलप्ड अ अ काइंड ऑफ फ्रेमवर्क फॉर एजुकेशन व्हिच वी कॉल्ड एज नॉलेज स्किल attitude and action framework so we have four parameters obviously knowledge is important nobody says that you should not know the navratnas of akbar but is that the most important thing we strongly believe that all these four components there are four pillars each one has to have equal weightage in the way that you are teaching so when you look at it all of us understand the knowledge bit because that's what is in the book you have to teach the book but how you teach that content is what defines the skill part of it so the way that we have devised our entire education system is that every time a teacher has to deliver a particular lesson they have to look at the content that they are teaching history ho geography ho english ho and they have to look at what skill that you are teaching and i think uh, there has been enough research done in the last 30 40 years on the skill this is very very common and clear understanding of the skills that are required for students to really step into the next century they are thinking skills social skills communication self management research and creativity skills you go to any research site these are the skills that you will see the problem is how do you integrate that into your into your uh, education system so the way that we do about go about doing it is that for every chapter that the teacher has to select or teach they have to select at least three skills that they are going to incorporate in the way that they are teaching and that is then reviewed and ensured that it is delivered what that the, let me take give you an example of that how that is done let's say that a teacher is teaching uh, trigonometry the teacher has to decide which skill that you are going to talk about and let's say the teacher says that i want to take critical thinking skills along with it so then the teacher has to write a lesson plan that says how trigonometry and critical thinking skills are to be married together so many times i have seen some of my teachers when they go about the students will be out on the ground and they will be they will be given a problem ki ye building hai you have to find out the height of this building they don't know anything about trigonometry yet so obviously students will come up with multiple answers somebody will say ki main dhaga dal ke niche karta hu i will measure it somebody will say that okay i will drop and see how much time a stone gets to fall and i will i know the speed of sound and multiple other different ways somebody will say that nahi mujhe ek floor ka height measure kar lunga char floors hain and none of those are considered as wrong answers all of those are right answers but then as the curiosity of the child is developed some child will go and do his research on internet and find ki koi trigonometry bolke subject hai and they will use those parameters and they will come up and then there is a discussion in the class which will happen on then from there the entire course of trigonometry will start and that's how you marry your trigonometry and your critical thinking each of those skills has to then be uh, uh, then be delivered in that particular way and this is where we have to really move towards because as we see today we all believe creativity is a important skill lekin if you look at the exams you are asked to write the same answers everybody knows that social skills are important but hum kya karte hain exam mein bachchon ko aise aise one one desk you cannot see the other persons if we really want to develop communication skill which is a critical thinking why can our exams not be a group exam where five children can put together and solve a problem and communicate with each other and come out with the real solution now that in that case you are able to develop both the creativity the the the, the uh, interaction skills in society as well as critical thinking and the knowledge of the uh, of the subject that you are teaching uh mr uh, we uh, one of our uh, uh, speakers mr mohit talked about how जिज्ञासु बनना इतना जरूरी है अगेन वो क्लास में ऑटोमेटिकली नहीं आने वाली है इट विल कम ओनली वेन द टीचर इज एक्सप्लिसिटली क्रिएटिंग एन एनवायरमेंट विच 
allows the creativity and, and the natural, natural curiosity of the child to come out. And so we follow a process called inquiry cycle. I think uh, uh, Sir was talking about it as well, of how the inquiry cycle has to lead the entire education. If you go into a classroom and say, today I am going to teach about solar system, you have already lost the child there. Because the child is not yet ready to read about solar system, there is no inquisitiveness. So if you are pushing something, the basic tenant of education is, unless there is something in me which is desiring of that education or desiring of that knowledge, the water will fall into a barren land. So first you have to make the soil fertile and therefore there is that importance of going ahead and doing something upfront to make sure that the children are inquisitive about it. So many times in, in some of our schools you will see children doing night camps, where they are seeing the stars and there is a question, why, oh, why is that star twinkling and why is that one not twinkling? And then the inherent questions will come that is that a star or is that a planet and from there now the child is interested. From there, you can start about solar system and from there the whole process of education can go forward. So these are some of the work that is happening. But as, uh, as Mr. Azimuddullah rightly said, that this cannot happen in a national level, it cannot happen in a state level, actually it cannot even happen at a district level. I strongly feel that this can happen only at a class level. Because that entire education system, the teacher knows the child. Even the Bajuka teacher doesn't know the child. The teacher who knows the child has to design the entire education system for his or her children. And to do that, we have to develop our teachers, um, which therefore requires a lot of collaboration between the teachers. We have created for our own teachers a kind of teacher community, where teachers are able to talk to each other on how they are taking some lesson plans and we are trying to extend it to other teachers from other schools so that it starts becoming a community and the community starts becoming a revolution and that's our uh, intent. We hope that a lot of the schools and a lot of uh, institutes uh, like uh, Quest and other uh, institutes join hand together and then we can, you know, Mr. Bolte, Mashal se Mashal Jalate Chalo and that's how we can take really make the education of India and give it the glory that Nalanda and Takshila had in our uh, future past. So with that, I would like to conclude my speech. Thank you so much.